So this is not really an unboxing because I unboxed it previously. But yeah, it's just on this multimeter. It's a Unity. This one, I think it's a two. Yeah, I think it's a two or four plus. So I actually got it because uh, I have to use it on DC as well. So it's an AC and DC, and it's a true RMS. Yeah, we all know Fluke, but yeah. <laughs> We act for fluke as a pricing, but yeah, so I, I got it and I used it a bit. So I'm just going to show you more or less what it's all about and how to use it. Yeah, you electricians, you know exactly how, but everybody is not really a Christian, but you can use it in many ways. So to get the amps, it's a good way to see what wattage, what, um, you use so uh, maybe you'd want to know what's your consumption on a few things so you can do it in the db box but uh so yeah i actually made myself a cable like this i'm going to explain now, now why so you see this one can use the ac or the dc so the normal if you put it on the amps the normal will be on the DC so you will just have to press to put it to the AC and yeah because it's a true RMS I don't know all the but you have to reset it every time but um, the thing the thing I did here is you have to plug it in because if you put the clamp meter over this I will show it to you over this like that it will basically give you a zero because it's taking the in and the out and the zero it out so you have to measure the current by itself so you have to measure one cable at a time or one cable and then you will get the reading so i've just got a heater yet so that we can just see more or less what it gives you uh, the amps and then you can multiply it by the volts and then you get the more or less the wattage okay so now Let's turn on the, the heater. I'm just going to put it on one element. So there it's one point, so let's say 1.61. We just go 1.61 times 230. Three hundred and seventy watts. So they say it's 400 watts, it's 370, just put the other, other element on. So now both, there's two elements on, so it's 3.3 times 230 gives you 760 watts. So you see what will happen if you don't do that is now if you put it over both the wires it will zero out. Okay, so let's do a kettle quickly. There you go. Switch it on. Eight point three four, eight point three zero, eight point three four. So eight point three four times two thirty gives you almost two thousand watts. And there it's also basically two thousand watts. Okay, so let's quickly look at the office, your copier. What is what's the consumption on that? I'm just going to show you here. And this is with all your equipment now. If it's in standby, it's 0 0.19, so 0 0.20, so it's 0 0.2 times 230 equals 50 watts just to let it stand like that. Now, I'm quickly going to. I'm quickly going to start it up so that you can see the peak. Let's start. 
that's up. 10. 5.3. So I saw the highest point was 10. Now I set it to max. I'm going to try to see if I can get the max out of it. With the startup, this is now I set it to max, and that was the max. So the peak was 9.45, it was 10 the other time. So it's 9.45 times 230, 2 kilowatts, 2.1 kilowatts on the startup. So let me do about five copies, and then I'm just going to set it to. Just reset it. Okay, standby is point two. Let's start the copy. Warming up. Okay, lastly, this is my fiber. The router, it's just my fiber on it. Just want to see how much does that pull. It's just starting up now. It's all my fiber, so it's, I don't know what you call these boxes, and also my router. And there's the router, just waiting for it to start up completely. And that's what we're getting, 0 0.09. times to 30 equals 20 watts so i hope it helps maybe it can help you